What is going on, my friends, here today? I've got some Fusion Strike Pokemon and this new Paldean Fates uh, booster box pack thing. I, I don't know. But just getting back to you guys with a little chat and rip. I don't know what I'm calling this yet, but just, you know, when I don't have a new product out to rip, just get a chance to talk to you guys about some things and... Uh, just some observations, and as the title of the video says, I'm going to present my bullish case for Pokemon, One Piece, Dragon Ball, like just anime cards and Japanese cards in general. And start off by just providing some anecdotes. And I go to Barnes & Noble probably twice a week, maybe three times if like a really good product is out there. And when I'm in there, I'll tell you which, which section by far is the most populated. And it's the manga section. It's not even close. We have American classics in the fiction section. The best of the best. Not even just from America, just around the world. And there's no one there. Everyone is in the manga section. Especially younger people my age. Maybe a little younger. Some even older. But... Just one thing I've noticed. Another thing is, if you ever take a stroll around your local mall, you'll notice Hot Topic, Spencer's, all these places, um, some other skate ones. Why can't our Journeys? Um, just stores like that. They always have anime figurines, anime shirts, anime backpacks on design everywhere. And they're not doing that. If they don't see the numbers and again you know I was I could I could keep listing anecdotes I was at the Palm Beach sports card show shout out to the Palm Beach sports card show really cool guys really nice guys there great crowd great turnout the busiest section by far at a sports card show were these four tables in the back right corner and anyone that was there can attest to this the back right corner with the TCG section with the Pokemon was the busiest. It was from wire to wire. Other people were going home early. The Pokemon people were there the entire time. Since until the last minute. And I you know, I just wish I knew more about Pokemon. I don't like to buy things I know nothing about. But I don't know enough about Pokemon, but I would love to own some Pokemon cards. As you can see, I own the Shanks in the background here but that's I, I just know about one piece i know shanks i'm not a you know i've played the pokemon games but i'm not and one piece again is new so there's not that many sets pokemon has millions of sets i gotta do research figure out which is the most popular but anyway i digress anyone watch the oscars last night best picture oppenheimer good movie not one I think I'd watch again, but I saw it in theaters, and it was really good. But the best movie I saw last year was Godzilla Minus One, and if you haven't seen that movie, I just gave you something to do on a Saturday night. There you go. You will not regret watching that movie. And yeah, that's a pretty cool car. I don't know what the hell that thing is called, what that parallel is called. It's like an extra shiny. I've never seen it. It must be new to Paldean Fates here. Don't really know what that is, but looks really cool. And Godzilla Minus One. It's you watch it, and it has everything American film, cartoons, shows is missing. The Japanese just know. They just they're creating stories and characters that are that are dealing with actual real life problems that men and women face the men are masculine the women are feminine you know not to get political but you're not having an agenda shoved down your throat it's genuinely good storytelling with likable characters that you care about and can relate to and it's just in the east i i imagine they have these problems too but not in anime not in some of these very popular animes like dragon ball and and one piece and pokemon but uh, anyway, so th those are just some anecdotes, some things I could point out. And yeah, this was a pretty cool card. I just, it's a cool card. 
You know, it really was. I love the that Pokeball kind of pops on there. Unfortunately, I think that might be the best card I had hit so far. I, I kind of been getting skunked. But I pulled up some charts using Google Trends. Pretty useful tool just to see if what I'm, you know, just to kind of verify. Like that uh, one boomer guy with the nice slick back hair used to say, trust but verify. And uh, so I pulled up some charts. Here's one. Manga and comics. Google searches since 2004 in America. As you can see, it's a pretty clear uptrend in manga and downtrend in comics. Especially during the uh, virus that <laughs> kind of swept the world. It kind of created some kind of sea change that will still be uh, very much studied for hundreds of years. But that's one chart. I mean, here's another one that's pretty crazy. I just thought... Who would be the Superman equivalent in the manga world? I mean, I just thought of Monkey D. Luffy, the protagonist of One Piece. And you could see Monkey has actually passed Superman in Google Trends and interest over time. Google searches over the last eight or so years, like, completely eclipsed it. I just think that's pretty insane. And then here's a big, fat, cute, wiggly tough. Again, I don't know what these parallels are called in this Paldean Fates, but it's a hit. I really like them. Next, check this one out. One Piece and Harry Potter. Since, when did I start this? 2020. I could have done a full chart, but One Piece was so much less popular than Harry Potter back then that it wouldn't have even made sense to show the chart that far back. But as you can see in the last four years or so, one Piece has passed Harry Potter popularity in the States. That's pretty insane to me. I mean, is that trying to get a continue? It looks like it. It's pretty steady, just eclipsing of Harry Potter. And here's another chart. Check this one out because these are two shows, pretty iconic. Both have histories of over 20 years and still going, still making new episodes. This is in America since 2004. One Piece. More popular than The Simpsons right now. Here's another one. Just again, One Piece and South Park. Another sort of millennial show. Very millennial watched. I, I mean, I wish I could search this by demographics, but I would think more younger people watch South Park than The Simpsons. And One Piece in America, again. Look at that. Crossing over sometime in 2017. Becoming more popular. Continuing its steady uptrend and then here I mean here is the granddaddy of them all Pokemon vs Taylor Swift these two Titans facing off here on this chart on uh, the United States in the last five years Pokemon was pretty much more popular I mean it just it just came back now I mean that's obviously because the Super Bowl and Travis Kelsey and all that stuff but look at that look how amazing that is Pokemon in America right now more popular than Taylor Swift, who is the most astroturfed, shoved-in-your-face human being on the planet. Not named Ice Spice right now. But, yeah, those are just some charts I pulled up. And look, I don't know the best way to capitalize off these trends in the trading card market or sports cards. I really don't know. So I'm kind of just reaching out to you guys to help me out. Like, what are some of the best Pokemon cards and sets to invest in? I love One Piece. I, I I love the look of the cards. I love collecting them. I've got that Shanks. I mean, look at that uh, Anderson Silva card on the right. That's his Japanese pride fighting card, and it's just iconic. It's cool. I don't know what it is, but it feels like the Japanese are kicking our butts in this, in this uh, fight to sort of grab the youth of America. And give them cartoons and comics that they could enjoy. I just feel like anime and manga is winning out. I don't see that stopping. I really don't. Have you watched television lately or some movies or played any popular video game releases? They're kind of lame. They're kind of not very good. And um, I don't know. Again, this is just me spitballing. I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys see this? Do you guys that actually have kids see what's happening here am i crazy to think that anime 
Pokemon, One Piece, Dragon Ball, whatever other popular animes out there is the way forward. Like, sh I really feel like we should own these cards. I'm not selling this Shanks in the back because One Piece is taking over the country. It really is. And uh, anyway, let's get the comps. Enough rambling for me. Always interesting hearing your thoughts. It's your man, DJ Rips. Peace.